All right, everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. In this case, every mask or respirator made in North America. So today we are looking at the Kimberly Clark Professional N95 pouch respirator, and it comes in a pouch. Bam! Do you think they were talking about the, the respirator or the bag? Seems weird to talk about the bag. All right, let's uh, stop talking and uh, put this in the clamper. So I, this is gonna be a just a GD mess is what this is, because look at how am I supposed to open this Kim Clark, if that's your real name? Um, now let's put this in here. This is so interesting. So this is, I call this the, the duck bill, uh, which I think a lot of people do in the industry. And I've never tested a duck bill before today. And then this is the like, what, fourth one? Something like that? In a row? It's almost like someone planned that. Toasty! <laughs> Conspiracy theory. Clamp cam. Pretty good clamp. Pretty good, medium medium clamp. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you wanna find out more about how that works, check out that link. All right, let's talk about the Kimberly Clark Professional N95. So Kimberly Clark's been making a lot of medical products for a long time. Dude, this thing is super cheap, 84 cents a piece on Amazon. And I'm trying to think, I think, yeah, Kimberly Clark was paid a bunch of money by the US government. I think it was like $168 million in Defense, Defense Production Act um, to, uh, to make a bunch of these respirators. Um, and actually like, I was able to find like that when, it, so they, they scaled up this factory and then they, uh, they, they met what the government wanted and then they shut it down and sold all the equipment. So this was made in the USA and I think what's going on is these are the leftovers from those government orders. I think that's why they decided to put it in like a bag, which is just weird packaging, you know? I think they're probably just trying to get rid of these. That's my gut. I don't know. This is a nice printed, look, look at this guy. Look at that guy. Just, uh, I don't know. God. This is interesting. This is a lot like the ACI one that we just saw. Yeah, dude, it's exactly the same. Look at this. So it's got this, except for the ACI was put together a little bit better. Um, it's got this uh, thing. It looks like it would probably break if I pulled it, yeah. But, you know, not terrible. I, I don't think it's going to break on your head. And I think after doing this like nine times, I can actually put this on. So <laughs> we'll see. It is a little bit difficult. Nope, that was wrong. This is like the... Oh my gosh, this is hard to put... Wow, this is so weird. Okay, so, wow. This is looks, this is the dumbest looking mask I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, do not take this to prom people. Look at this, what's going on? Why is it all, is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Am I, am I doing it wrong? So, okay. I just tried the Gearson mask, which is a du uh, uh, the duck style and uh, ACI, uh, Advanced Concepts Innovations, all American made duck style, but this one, it like, it, it, it doesn't feel like it's fitting. And look at this, look at, do you see that? Granted, that was not the best donning, but look, the, the nose wire is coming off. <laughs> what? what the heck, Kim? Come on. And it, it doesn't feel like it's on my, if it's, it's on my head very well. And like, this is really like, Kim, you're messing up my hair. Um, it's, it's like a really like cheap, like, it looks like it's gonna fall apart. I mean, this is like, this is not a good quality mask. <laughs> Heck? Let me do the smell on this. It's not horrible, but it kind of smells like the combination of a plastic bag and an Amazon fulfillment center. <laughs> so I'm guessing that uh, has something to do with the bag that it was shipped in. Um, but yeah, it just like, it, it like doesn't look even when it's on your face where the other ones looked even. I mean, it's a weird look. The duck bill look is a weird look. Um, and it's, but it's very breathable as we saw. Like this was, what do you say, 77, something like that. Um, 71. 71, so that's very breathable. It's like in the top three N95s in terms of like breathability. And the other two were also duck bills. So there's something about this design that makes it like d insanely breathable, which I like. 
But does any of that matter? Does any of it matter if it doesn't protect you? Because that's the whole reason we showed up here was for this big, beautiful like uh, lab and all the money we spent on it. What does it say? Fail. <laughs> it says fail. So look, you look at like all the little parts of a mask, you know, uh, like you, you look at like the, you know, how did, how is the box? Like is the box, like did someone put a lot of thought into it or did they just put a, uh, a label on the bag at an angle, you know, uh, is, is, the, is the construction good? Like all that stuff kind of adds up to like, is this going to be uh, a great product? Now look, this is one test. I could test this whole bag and average them out and maybe it would be 95%, right? But this right here is a failing score. It just is 93.889. Still like an insanely breathable mask. So if you're between a cloth mask and uh, the 89 cent uh, Kimberly Clark on Amazon, I'd go with this one, to be honest. But uh, there are better masks out there and I, I would choose those. Uh, just because it's made in America doesn't mean that it's great. It was clearly this guy was rushed together um, and uh, you know they may not even be making it anymore. We'll never know. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you appreciated this. Uh, if you did, jam that like button. Uh, give me a subscribe. Look, Google doesn't check those things. Like they, they're not actually going to serve you more of my videos if you hit subscribe. They are. That's what it does. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next test, especially if you subscribe, because you won't have any choice.